It all started with my grandmother, uh, Olive Eismond. She was the matriarch of the Eismond family. In fact, she's right. She lived here in Ephraim, San Pete County, for many years. And so uh, San Pete has, has had a very special place in our heart. Well, my grandmother had her two older sons. They were both born deaf. And the doctors told her not to have any more kids, uh, thinking that the rest of her kids would, would all be born with a physical limitation or a challenge, whatever that may be. But thank goodness she didn't listen to the doctors. Uh, she had seven more kids, and that's where you know the musical Ivan Brothers and Donnie and Marie uh, come about. And at that time, my family just didn't have the financial means to buy hearing aids for their two deaf brothers. So they, uh, they knew they could sing a little bit there and there. They started a musical barbershop quartet and they started going out there to, to sing and perform to raise money so they could buy hearing aids for their two deaf brothers. So that's really how that's, that my family got started in show business. And during that time frame, my grandmother Olive started uh, called the Eisman Foundation, primarily to set up and provide resources to help uh, the deaf and hard of hearing. Uh, as time went on, I came about. I'm the only one in the second generation of, of the Eisman family that was born with a profound hearing loss. And so because of that reason alone, I was very close to my grandmother. We both shared that same passion and drive uh, in caring for the deaf and hard of hearing. And so when she passed away, um, I decided to start this charity, nonprofit, in honor of my grandmother, Olive, uh, to pay tribute to the wonderful legacy that she, she's left. And so from that moment on, I uh, continue to help deaf and hard of hearing children and adults uh, here in the United States as well as around the world. As I was running one day, I love to run. I love running out here in the countryside. And one day I was running, I was like, you know what? Why, why not run to help children? And why not run for hearing? So I, I'm always up for a big challenge. You know, people told me I can't do this, 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 and that. People told me I can't play the violin. I always love to go back and prove them wrong. So I came home one day and I talked to my sweetheart, my wife, Christy, and I said, hey, I'd like to run from here to St. George. And my goal was, you know, why not do 250 miles for 25 uh, deaf kids in Southern Utah. It's exciting, it, 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 uh, it's very challenging, but uh, I'm excited to be able to uh, make this, this long journey and uh, to help pay it forward. So to kick off this, my big 250 mile run, we're gonna do a big kickoff celebration right here in Ephraim. Uh, there at the Canyon View Park, and um, it's going to be called Super Hero. Instead of hero, it'll be hero. And we're going to have uh, uh, lots of music and games and costumes and awards. Uh, for those of you who would like to come and be a part of it, uh, it's, it's going to be a 5K uh, fun run, and we're also going to have uh, some of the superheroes uh, there as well. So if the kids want to come take pictures with some of these superheroes, uh, it can be a fun environment. And the more people we can get there, the more kids we can help. Uh, I'll run with you, I'll walk with you, and then as we cross that finish line, I'm just gonna keep on running all the way down to, to St. George uh, in a total of eight days. And then when I get to St. George, um, there will be another 5K, another superhero 5K run. And there, all the community members down in St. George area uh, will also come to that and uh, join me for that 5K run. So, so come to the run and, and be a part of this. Uh, if you'd like to participate and, and run in this fun 5K, uh, you can go online at runforhearing.com and there all the information will be provided and you can register early so that you're guaranteed to get a shirt and all these other wonderful things that we'll pro provide at this event. Also, if, uh, if you're not able to come to the event and be a part of this, this grand celebration, you can also sponsor me if you'd like, and you can also do that on runforhearing.com. So together, 
we can make a difference. Uh, one step at a time, but also one ear at a time, right here in San Pete Valley, as well as in Southern Utah. So join the great cause, join the great movement and the campaign so that we can help uh, these kids overcome their physical challenges of hearing loss and everything else so they can be reconnected with their families and their friends and their loved ones.